Hey, what up guys? It is Diplox here again and welcome back to March of the Eagles. Today I'm also starting the UK campaign, or a Great Britain one rather said. Uh, I did one earlier in Sweden as you can tell. But I'm planning on doing three at a time, which is quite a lot, but I'll, I'll probably fail one or two since I'm, you know, playing in its early stages and this is a completely blind let's play. I have no clue about anything except for the basic grand strategy skills that I inherit from the other games, so I'm, I'm, I guess I'm not completely lost, if you want to put it that way. Anyways, let's jump in as uh, the Great British uh, description and read it like I did with the other one. Victory in the Seven Years' Wars turned Britain into the pre-eminent naval power. Not even the loss of the 13 colonies changed that. To remain in this position required just one thing, the balance of power be maintained on the continent. Da -da 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 -da. So the French Revolution began, of course. And the Treaty of Amiens is now a dead letter. And Britain was first to declare war on the France on 18th of May, 1803. This is fight to the finish. And Britain expects that every man will do his duty. Finally, is a, get to play as an island nation. Roam around and do whatever the fuck I want. Oh my god, I've got a lot of troops. I've got so many troops. And why do I start off in the snow? Did I do the same here in Sweden? It is at the same time, is it not? It is. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, Jesus Christ, the music is loud. Or is that just me? There we go, there we go. Alright, here we are. Let's take a quick look. The king is actually a lot better than the Swedish one, at least. That's good. Victory conditions. Uh, still need way more dominance here. These provinces don't mean anything, apparently. Uh, 50 to 50, alright. That's good. Wow, 100% naval dominance. That's insane. We rule the seas. And this isn't apparently its prestige. This is its, like, total level out of 100. Because Sweden, I had, like, 150. And I was like, what? Why ain't I on that list? But I sort of suspected that that it wouldn't be, well, that it wouldn't be up there anyways. <laughs> so here's all our stuff. Lords of manpower. And this is what it costs as well and everything like that, obviously. Ideas. Wow. We have quite a lot going on. Sweden, when I played as them, nothing. Go with a land movement idea. Seems pretty good. Um, diplomacy. Countries at war with... Pa uh, war with the papacy. Tuscany, Switzerland, Italy, and the Netherlands and France. And I do have a navy out here. I intend to shake things down. Looks like we, we're fighting out here as well. Can I march across? Where's Wellington? The Wessex Falls. The English Home Army. London Division. Harwich Falls. Norwich Falls. Hull. Lancaster. Scotland Force. Whoa. Are these guys Highlanders? That'd be so beast. Yeah, Scotland Brigade. These are like, what? Royal Scots. Oh, I wish they were Highlanders. That'd be cool. Still quite a lot of people. I wish they had them by regiments and not by, like, brigades. But I guess that's how they've gone with in every game. Zero load capacity. They're just protecting it out there. This is the disposable force. Lol, 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 lol. Ireland force. Why did they name that one disposable force? I guess we'll bring it down here then. Can you cross? No, you cannot. Fair enough. Can you load regiments? Zero capacity. Zero capacity. British transport fleet. 65 in load capacity. Not bad if you want to do a little invasion. So, we're at war with a lot of people. There's the papers. He's at war with Sicily. We're actually not. So, we could land down here. And take out these guys as well. I'm thinking of sending a force over there, to be honest. Channel fleets, home fleets, French fleet sitting there, not doing anything. Gonna send this fleet up here, pick up these Irish guys. Um, and then we'll get, drive past B Dublin, pick up the Ireland force as well. Send up the Irish first. No offense, but that's actually what I'm gonna do, straight out. Uh, these guys gonna merge into a force down here in Dover. He's gonna move there. We're not gonna do like a D Day here, because battles work a bit differently, I'd say, wouldn't you as well? But still. You can create a coalition. Yes. Okay. That's great. What do I need to do to that? So 
got lots of unemployed leaders. And you know what? Much of the sounds of guns. Well, we need leaders, obviously, for the troops we're sending out first. Gotta make sure that my Irishmen are... Oh, there's Arthur Wellesley himself. Oh, my God. Look at him. Napoleon probably beats him by quite a lot. <laughs> but still. Uh, I want to make a big army down here. One big army to, to rule them all. I'm wondering if I should begin my campaign in Spain. Depends on what what France does, I must say. We're just now really just taking a quick look over it all. Valachia. Create a coalition. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that. Um, who do I want to join in with? I guess Austria would be a good pick. Um, if they're up for it, of course. Um, ba -ba -ba. Uh, how do I... Yeah, I can create a coalition. I can create a coalition against them. Okay, so i got to go here. I think. Sue for peace. That's funny. Demand tribute. What can I get? Concede defeat. They would not accept it. Obviously not. Okay, fair enough. Pretty basic, like, EU. Uh, the in EU system, of course. You know, this coalition thing, we'll have to take a look at that pretty soon. But I'm going to unpause it now and get this British awesomeness on the way. Sexy. Home, home, home army can stay for a bit. Spain is under their military of France and I will Great Britain. Looks like we might have to do a little bit of a peninsular campaign then. Uh, where do we land? Uh, do I want to attack Cadiz? 4,000 Spanish against 11,000. 800 of these. I'll give them some of my leaders down here. Okay, they're moving now. Oh! That'll rimper. I'm probably going to land in Corona, but I'm going to want to talk to the Portuguese about a possible... Uh, okay, they're invited into the coalition. Let's see what Prussia says about this. I can't do that, because the relation is too good with them. See if we can get Rush on our side. I don't know how good relation they have. Invite to coalition, very likely. We got Rush on our side. We're gonna win. GG. So, once this fleet gets up here, I'm thinking of sending it down. Okay. So, I think we'll see these guys heading back to Lisboa or Lisbon now to hold it. See where the Spanish army is going. There's Badajoz. Look at that. Cordoba, Granada, Toledo. Where's Talavera? Is that even on the map? Badajoz. Cordoba. Talavera. 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 Palencia. Tudela. Or is it Toledo or something? I could be miss... Thinking of the wrong place. Uh, ooh, they gather with another army up here in Ronda. I'm not moving. I'm sticking my Gibraltar force here where it remains and belongs. Fleet is moving up here. We're going to pick up the Irish. Um, as bad as weird as that sounds. Gonna merge these together and create like the, the British army, whatever you want to call it. First army. Because these, bo these boats are just humping each other here for a bit, it seems. He's going to join in with it. We're going to merge this fleet. He's going to march on it. Then we're going to move up, pick up the guys in Dublin. And we're going to have a nice force. Why did they name this one Disposable Force? That's horrible. How can you name such a good force of good fighting Irishmen disposable? No, I call it usable instead. If that's better. Let's replace this guy with Sir Arthur Wellesley. Reserves? Are you nuts? Reserves? He's supposed to take the center. Robert Crawford. Picton, of course. Ross, yes. Good, good army, good army. My favorite lads coming in to play with me. It's so, so happening. Oh, Beresford as well. William Carr Beresford. That's amazing. We got such a good army. We got OP army going on here. France is about to get no scoped. What just happened? Anglo French war. Look at this here. Okay, this is pretty bad. Russia just did something at least. I'm wondering if there's a panel where I can look. Yeah, 
Scouts. Discipline, fair enough. What'd you do, Russia? Cult arms, very likely. Good, they're in the game. I don't know if these guys are going to be fighting, but I'm going to want to send these guys down first. The Spanish are starting to surround me here. So, you know what we're going to do, boys? My troops are ready. The... I can't name it the disposable force. I must name it the... The Peninsular. Peninsular force. Led by Sir William Erskine. That's how you pronounce his name. Thank you guys for watching. Coming up with a French campaign as well as we speak. It's going to be so sexy. Can't wait for that as well. All those French guys. And I will see you guys the next time. Until then. Toodle.